Okay, let's go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the United Way TV. My name is Rob Dukan, uh, the presenter of the, of the show. We have three transfer news here, breaking news. I mean, I've been you, telling you guys about Daily coming to Manchester United as a fan. And also, you know, Fabrizio Mano Romano also have come out and told us that there is a huge development in regards to the elite. This is what it is written here that uh, Manchester United gets green light from Bayern to start over summer transfer on Ultra for to move priority uh, for the elite. Like uh, of that, this is from uh, Fabrizio Romano. So the situation here is uh, the elite Manchester United uh, have uh, agreed not have agreed uh, 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 with Bayern Munich to go on with Delhi to make a deal on Delhi. So Delhi will be, it will be a yes, we go, I think, less than a week from now. Delhi is present in the Euros. He, has been, he hasn't been used by Koeman. I don't know why. Maybe he's not a good free kick taker because, you know, Koeman's history was that way. So it's reported here yeah, that Delhi... Yeah, this is even uh, one football who has come out and said Manchester United have received a green light. Yes, uh, a green light uh, uh, from Bayern for the start. They lead. And uh, what is more interesting here in this deal, which nobody has spoken about it, but this is what it is here, is that it is also reported that the Dutch international is win willing to take a pay call to join Eric Ten Hag squad. This is very important. I've been telling you guys, guys, that one of the strategies of the um, in yours is that we, if we you for you to come to United, you must we, you must be in the in the price range. So Manchester United are trying to have players, which uh, we are trying to have a team of players that will play for us. On a price, on I mean, on a setting price, right? We don't want to mess things up. We want we we want to have. I mean, my light. I've just destroyed my light, my studio light. So Manchester United have a price cap cap with players they want to buy, and what they are trying to do presently is they will want to have players. I think the price will be players will not be any over two hundred and fifty, maybe even two hundred. But there will be more bonuses. I've come up. That's my own theory. I come up with that. I told you guys that one of the best way the way football have to move is that yes, these players should have good salaries. And uh, uh, but you know what? What the, uh, teams have to do? They have to be bonuses. We have to have some. I mean, the, the wealthier the team, the more the bonus. Which means Manchester United will tell Marcus Rashford, get what you know what Rashford you will end. Uh, yeah, two hundred thousand pounds a week. Yes, but if it happens you score a certain goal or you have a performance, there should be a rate, a way to rate players. And then you, at the end of the month, we can give you extra three thirty, four fifty five, fifty million, even a billion. Because yeah, I mean that is the best way to to manage these players. Because when you know the the, the way the how the way the the kerning of football players, you will understand why it is very important for the for us to have a a, a a price cap. And this is not only a Manchester United thing. It has to be a, a Premier League thing at the top level because if we start having players having billions and billions, the game will get destroyed. Not all teams can meet up uh, that demand, and uh, it was, will be a fiasco. Uh, so tell me what you think about a daily coming to Manchester United because I think this is the deal. Which I mean, from now, I mean, I would say it's here we come. Fabrizio Romano will say, "Here we go." I don't know. What are you going to say? Tell me what you're going to say because I think this is a deal which I'm on. I'm on a ninety percent sure this will be a deal. And uh, as we were told, this deal has nothing to do with Jared Brathwaite because Jared Brathwaite is a different proposition. This is a young, inexperienced player which Everton wants to take advantage of Manchester United by giving us some time of crazy fees. Which guess what? We cannot meet that fee. It's not even because Manchester. It's not Manchester United can't meet the fee. The problem is. Manchester United, we have to be rational. It comes back to my first point. We have to have a setting cap. We have to be ready to walk away from deals. So tell me what you think below about the uh, the, uh, the uh, Matthews Delete and uh, if you think this is a good uh, move from Manchester United. Also, there is a very bad news. I think we should do this at the, la the end of the the video, but you know it is important. Manchester United are ready to, to place 250 workers of ultra i mean in ultra ford redundant which means this these, these workers will not be working for manchester united again it is a sad story but we have to talk about it because our football team is not a football team as you know, i mean like like any we are a team which uh, uh in this community i created this community just because i wanted to our fans to get some news in regards to the football club so you guys to always give your opinion not only about on the pitch but what makes of united we are manchester united we are not manchester this united so we have to talk about all the sectors so my, this is the, this is a strategy done by Ineos. what they are doing is 250,000 workers that will be maybe it will be i think it might be like i'm not sure maybe i mean it, it, 
it is some good money, but it isn't like yearly salary for play, top players like maybe Bruno Fernandes, but it will be some money. The problem, the, the, the strategy which they are doing is they're trying to cut courses on places where they can cut courses uh, on, on Manchester United so as to be to do either a renovation for Old Trafford or a new stadium, but on uh, where to... I mean, this is what in politics governments do. You do you use it a lot. A government comes into uh, into power. What he does is they they, they start they start pumping money, maybe on the defense industry, maybe on education, maybe on on on, on, on healthcare. So in this case, United the the the, the in your school believe United. We have to get the best not in class in talent football also, but also the environment. So they are investing a lot on uh, infrastructure in Manchester United. So. Unfortunately, in business, you have to do that. But, you know, this has been the result of very bad management from the Glazers. Tell me what you think below about that. I think it is disgusting for you to lose your job. But, you know, at times you need to uh, you need to make such a deal. Also, very good news coming from Manchester United. We know Agate, who is presently now at the Copa America with Uruguay, has been, you know, uh contacted by manchester united we want to bring him to manchester united obviously we are it's a very good player you know it's a player that has the attributes which we want the tiny city is there the know-how the experience he is uh he is a kind of fred who can really control a game so i think he's not a perfect player let's say it is clear but what he can do is he can dribble he has the energy he has the, the stamina and also he can accelerate and also play the high pressing from the midfield so the, this is not about him but united has said that deal is not a deal which is a uh, written on stone the thing is we are trying to get a deal and we are also having to have a plan a um, a b uh, no plan a is him but we have a plan b and a c i think the plan c is been written here that Joe, uh joe gomez i don't know if you guys took note about this this uh, young player joe gomez very good player for for uh wolves last season he was fantastic I think Joe Gomez, it's reported here, Joe, Joe Gomez have already told Manchester United the main ambition and meet his transfer, his struggle. This is from the Manchester the Evening News, Manchester Evening News. So Wolves midfielder Joe Gomez has already uh, outlined his desire and sample to taste the Champions League football and meet reports linking him with a move to Manchester United. The Reds, according to the report uh, by the Mirror, this is the Mirror who break this news actually, are uh, weighing a move for the Brazilian ahead of the summer transfer window. Uh, it is claimed that he has been uh, identified as a potential re a replacer for another Brazilian, Casemiro. So tell me what you think about that, Casemiro leaving. Look, I know you guys might be saying, hey, Ravbe, we haven't sold, but let me tell you guys, give you guys a caveat here, that Manchester United is going to sell. We have potential players. The thing is that when we sell a bit late, we might sell late, for teams that want certain players, and it might be an advantage for us. Uh, but I think we have three to four, three to four players that we can sell even today. But the thing is that United wants to, the, the thing is, in, 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 the, in the sports or football business, I told you guys many times that I work with agents, I have an idea on how these uh, transfers are done. Uh, there's a psychological part here in, in negotiating uh, in transfers. If you're a club, you have sold a lot of your players and you go to the market to buy, they know you must buy. So the market, so the market has an advantage over you. Yeah, so it will be. But now uh, if you have your players and you go and buy players, right, of quality, then you can sell your players for prices which you want. That is, uh, That seems to be the strategy United are using. I mean, I think Gomez last season was a very good player. He did very well, Joa Gomez, for Manchester United. I don't know what you guys think about Joa Gomez, but you know what? I can know that if you drop your comments below. Tell me what you think about Joao Gomez, guys. It will be very uh, great to hear from you. Another position which we haven't spoken a lot this summer so far is our left back. We have on our, on our stream, you have uh, someone like, uh, uh, the, uh, the name went out. He's from Nigeria, actually. He wrote, he asked uh, about... Um, what about a left back, Ralph? Look, uh, United will do some business. I think we are going to have a left back. I also... The reason I think that is because I don't know the state of Tyra Malasia. Malasia has had a whole injury the whole season last year. He didn't feature. I still believe Malasia's issue is extra sportive. What do I mean by this? I mean, I think his issue has nothing to do with sport. It has mostly to do with, um, to be fair, it mostly has to do with Malasia's uh, uh, 
um, ma, 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 ma. It, ha it had mostly to do with, ma with, with Malaysia's personal. Uh, uh, maybe I think there's something going on with uh, you know mental health in Malaysia. Honestly, I don't have a proof. I'm this. I'm guessing this, but I don't see a, 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 an injury that keeps a, fan a a player, a young player, the whole season. And it, it, the worst part is they never explain to us what was going on with him. A part of an ankle. Ankle doesn't take a whole season uh, just like that. So we've been get the news have come out that we have uh, Miguel uh, the Gironda, the Spanish player from Gironda, and that uh, 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 by name uh, Miguel Gutierrez. Gutierrez Miguel he had a very good season with Gironda last season uh, in the La Liga. I think he's a player which Manchester United are looking so closely. It's reported that Man U have uh, reportedly agreed a deal to fill a massive need for Eric Tenag this summer with La Liga style, seemingly on his way to Old Trafford. So Miguel Guterres, this is another one we have to see about this. I heard this from uh, uh, from uh, Talk Sports are talking about this. I've got this news also from uh, ma -ma -ma -ma, from. Um, Sky as well, uh, and and I think uh, this is a, the, a direction which United might be might be going. Tell me what you think. The age are good. I didn't tell you about Gomez. Gomez is under uh, to, to, to uh, twenty five. So is Guterres. I think that uh, Ten Hag has Ten uh, sorry uh, Inos are sticking to the idea of bringing players who are below a certain age, and uh, I think that's a good strategy. I don't know what you guys think, but I really do think it is a good strategy. It helps you to keep what you have as your and uh, move on with what you think is really necessary for the football club. So guys, if you learned something from this video, guys, please make sure you click the like on the video. Get involved with the United Way. We'll be doing streams going forward. We are live every day, but sorry, I haven't been here some time. But every day, uh, every 10, 10, p, 10 a.m. UK time. I have been having a lot in my, in my in this week. I have a lot of things going on. I'm going to expose a lot. Maybe after the summer, you guys will know why. I can't be stable yet. Yeah. I, I think if you were in my position, you would not make a video, but let's go on because there are a lot of things going on behind the ground. I want to get you guys a good experience in the channel. So please hit that like on the video. Get involved. Tell me what you think about Daily. Is he that game changer? Does, how does we how do we line up last season? I mean next season. I think the lead, the authority of the lead will bring Manchester United, not champions for sure, but I think we'll get respect, that respect. We will get our club back. We'll get our victory back. We'll get the FA Cup back. Tell me what you think. Smash a like on the video and get involved in the United way. And you know why, guys? Share this video, guys, please, because we won't hit 10K and we will hit it. You know why? Because you guys will take part of it. Anyway, guys, great speaking to you. And yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.